everybody. Happy Wax on Wednesdays. I have uh, four paintings here that are done on watercolor paper. Two of them are on Canson 140-pound watercolor paper and two of them are on Arches 140-pound uh, watercolor paper. And I've mounted them on these uh, hardboard, Masonite hardboards with some archival bookbinders glue and set them aside to dry. And they are um, all painted, all dry, and just ready to play with. So the first thing I'm going to do is just start adding layers of encaustic and I've got some uh, just some supplies, some toys out here and I'm going to see just where each one takes me. I'm going to see where it goes. So it's just kind of an exploration. I've gotten over the, the blank canvas or the blank page by adding just some color. I might cover it all up. This I'm going to consider this the underpainting. I was just kind of having fun with some watercolor. So I might keep it, I might cover it up. We'll just have to see um, what happens. And so I'm gonna go, just go ahead and get started.
Okay, so today was very quick and very fast paced and I really, I enjoyed painting on the watercolor, using the watercolor as an underpainting. Uh, for one thing, I already had some color started there, so it made it easier for me to continue on, even if I was gonna cover most of it up. And also, it was just fun to paint on the watercolor paper as well and add that onto the uh, encaustic as a, as a, use it as a substrate, the watercolor paper. So that is a lot of fun too, a little change up from just plain board. And of course I have my favorites and my not so favorites, but I kept moving the entire time and that's why I like to work on, I know I always say this, but I like to work on uh, three to five pieces at a time. And really if I, if I, start thinking, overthinking it, then I will switch up to the next piece. And this is, um, especially on these small boards, these small six by sixes, the practice boards as I call them. These are my studio practice boards and it's a good practice to keep moving, keep moving all the time. And so on these um, little boards, when I come into the studio, a lot of times I will start with these and this exercise really keeps me um, from overthinking it and over processing it when I'm painting abstractly and intuitively I want to keep it fluid and keep it moving and this is a good way to do that and switching it up between these boards This one is probably my least favorite and I probably shouldn't say that but I might keep working on this one later on I might completely change it. I um, These two are very similar. I was um, still happy with this one had a little uh, dry brush texture on it and changed it up a little bit. Still keeping pretty much within the same color palette, all four of them, even though um, only two of them are very similar. The rest, um, all four are still different, but they are still pretty similar in, in color palette. I tended to grab for the same uh, pigment sticks over and over, and, uh, and that's fun too when you're working on a series. So you can have uh, several pieces that are all um, completely different but within the same color palette. So this was just a, a fun exploration with both watercolor and the pigment sticks. So I hope that you guys, oh and then also the, um, not to forget the Derwent extra large graphite blocks which are my new favorite thing and they come in this tin and they are the Durant extra large graphite blocks and of course if you watched wax on Wednesdays in the past and you and you kind of follow along you know that graphite is my one of my favorite mediums of all time in any form so these were um, really excited to get these and I, I love using them so I've been using these a lot there in the studio and I use those just to go and work on the incised marks and they're great for that. Graphite's great for that and uh, the blocks are water soluble so of course you saw me uh, use those as a water soluble almost like a watercolor on top of the encaustic there. So there's a little new little new supply for fun. And Encausticology 101 is coming up here really quickly. It opens on September 21st. So if you want to join me for more, uh, both uh, Aquamedia, it has six full chapters of videos with uh, all sorts of techniques in depth, with in depth instruction from A to Z, and also an arsenal, library arsenal of techniques and terms to add to your encaustic library. Uh, we're doing aqua media. We are doing a full section on uh, the shellac burn, which I know you guys like. So if you'd like to join me for that, it's September 21st and the uh, early registration goes up until September 20th. So it's a great price right now to get in on before the price goes up on September 21st. So uh, I'll leave the registration link in down below in the description and you can re register both on my blog or on my website sherryreplogle.com and I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you are enjoying Wax on Wednesdays please give it a thumbs up and a like and I will see you next week. Happy creating! Mm. Ooh, yeah. I've been all around